welcome to the VHDL and Verilog final year class. So let us write the simple program for the AND and the XOR gate. Okay. So here this is the AND gate and this is the XOR gate. We know that A and B are the inputs for the AND gate and the temp is the output for this AND gate. Temp is the input for this XOR gate and D is the input. And what is the Z is equal to? That is temp XOR D. Here I have written the equations for the temp is equal to A and B and Z is equal to temp XOR D. Okay. Next let us write the program for the same circuit. So what you have, what we should know, first we should write the four lines that is library files we have to write. Afterwards the entity part and next is the architecture part. Okay. So we have written the library files. What is the entity part contains? Entity part contains the inputs and the outputs. So what are the inputs you are seeing in the circuit? A, B and D and the Z is the output and it, these are of the type standard logic and end and the name of the entity and the, we have to write the architecture part. In the architecture begins with the keyword architecture, name of the architecture or and the name of the entity. What is your name of the entity? AX gate and this is begin of the architecture. In the begin of the architecture we are using the process statement okay in the process statement we have to write the sensitivity list what is this sensitivity list inputs in the circuit so just now we have saw how many inputs are there three inputs a b and d and the output of the and gate we have taken as a temp so actually that is not in the external view so it is not here we are not taking in the entity and also in the sensitivity list that you have to declare in the declarative part of the process statement okay where you are writing the declarative part after the process and before the begin so that is one variable and it is of the type temp and it is of the type bit you are going to use this temp variable after the begin and before the end of the process Okay, let us write temp is equal to A and B. What is this? This is called the signal assignment statement. And next, what is Z is equal to temp XRT and after 5 nanoseconds. Okay, so without this also, this is going to work. But for the understanding purpose, how to use this after? So I have written this one up there. So what is the meaning of this one means? Till 5 nanoseconds, you are not able to get the output. After the 5 nanoseconds, you are going to get the output. Next is the end process. Okay, you have begin the process and afterwards end process and the end behavior. Okay, so try to write the same program. So first in your notebook, just you put your the circuit diagram and write the program without seeing the, uh, seeing the PPTs. Okay, and next yourself only you draw your own circuits and try to write the different programs okay just to try to write the 8 to 1 multiplexer also okay thank you let us meet in the next video